Back in 2014, when I had only played Fire Emblem Awakening, I made a post on Saren's Forest with a wish list of what I wanted to see in the next Fire Emblem game. And understandably to my younger self, multiplayer seemed like a no-brainer. And when it was announced that Fates would have multiplayer, I was excited! I really want to have some awesome battles with my friends. But upon playing Fates multiplayer mode, something became starkly clear to me. Fire Emblem and player vs player wasn't fun. In this video, I'll explain specifically what gets lost in translation between the single player and multiplayer modes, and introduce possible alternatives to PvP that I believe are better suited to Fire Emblem. Let's get right into it. Before we address Fire Emblem's multiplayer woes, we have to identify what makes Fire Emblem single player tick, and that is the AI computer opponents. People often fail to realize that Fire Emblem is more like a puzzle game. The strategies you use in Fire Emblem almost exclusively work because your opponent is an AI that follows pre-programmed commands and logic. It can be exploited and taken advantage of. In fact, working around enemy range to bait them into making the first move is a pretty common and effective strategy. The thing is, once you take away these patterns for a player to exploit, the game falls apart. And this is because unlike the AI, human opponents are playing to win, and can and will employ the best strategy. And unfortunately in Fire Emblem scenario, said strategy is camping. Let me explain why camping is so effective. If we have two identical units, and I attack you first, you take damage. Then you counterattack, and I take damage. It's now your turn, and this is where the problem arises. You get to attack me, and unless I killed you in one attack, you now have an opportunity to kill me with no risk of taking damage because I'll be dead before I can counterattack back. So the game devolves into constant camping and baiting as nobody wants to make the first move, or even allowing to get within range at all. Not only is this boring, it's just not fun to play, and it ceases to be Fire Emblem. Throw in the RNG, often ridiculous skills if we're going to be honest here, and constant waiting for your opponent, and you really don't have an enjoyable metagame. So if PvP is out of the question, is there a compromise here? Well, I believe so and I think the series should lean toward cooperative gameplay. If people really want to play with others, I think a cooperative campaign, or at least some co-op missions, are the way to go. This could allow for chapters on a much larger and grander scale as you'd have two player controlled armies, and also allows unique gameplay opportunities. For example, you could give players different objectives, such as one defending a front line as the other player escapes. You still get to play with your friends, show off your coolest units, and, well, it's still the Fire Emblem you know and love as you take down the AI together. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this look into why multiplayer Fire Emblem isn't as grand as it sounds. For the comment question, what multiplayer mode would you want to see in the future Fire Emblem? As always, thanks for watching. This is Zukon of Patrick Productions, signing off.